Welcome to O2 Classroom brought to you by First Class Medical, empowering you with the knowledge you need to take control of your respiratory condition. The long, hot days of summer are upon us in most parts of the U.S. Today we're going to talk about the importance of staying hydrated. Proper hydration is important for everyone, but especially those with heart and lung conditions. Few things are as important to your body as water. Literally every single cell and organ requires water in order to function properly. According to the Journal of Biological Chemistry, the adult human body is made up of 60% water. The lungs are approximately 83% water, while the heart is about 73%. Water assists the body in performing many functions. In addition to boosting heart and lung health, it helps remove waste, maintains body temperature, and helps with weight loss. It supports the immune system by flushing out bacteria and also lubricates joints and tissue and improves skin texture. Water is also thought to be beneficial for brain chemistry and emotional balance. If your body needs to perform one of these functions and you're not drinking enough water, it must tap reserves from somewhere within itself. Because your heart and lungs contain so much water, the body is likely to source it from there. Once your body draws water away, those organs are not able to perform at optimal levels. Within the respiratory system, water keeps nasal passages, bronchial tubes, and lung tissue moist. When you exhale, moisture is expelled. As you inhale, dry air is introduced. If your body is properly hydrated, moisture is rapidly replaced as the air travels through your respiratory system. However, if you're dehydrated, airways can become dry and inflamed. To compensate for this, the body creates mucus, which further blocks airways and can potentially trigger symptom exacerbation in COPD patients or those with asthma or other lung ailments. One of the most important functions of water is that it aids in digestion and transports nutrients where needed. Do you often feel short of breath after eating? Dehydration could be the cause. Water is needed to help break down food, and if enough water isn't present in the body, it may be diverted from the lungs to the digestive system. This sudden loss of water in the lungs can cause spasms, triggering respiratory reactions. So especially during the warm summer months, it's important to drink plenty of liquids. However, all liquids are not created equal from the hydration standpoint. The amount of liquids absorbed and retained for use versus eliminated as waste is measured on what is called the hydration index. When you drink water, it is distributed throughout the body for use, and what is not needed is sent to the kidneys to be eliminated as waste. Drinks such as milk, orange juice, Pedialyte, or vitamin water score slightly higher on the hydration index as they contain electrolytes and minerals that the body can use for other functions and therefore create less liquid waste that must be replaced. Milk contains calcium that can help counteract some of the negative effects of corticosteroids. However, some COPD patients notice more or thickened mucus after drinking milk, so use with caution. Some things, such as caffeine, are diuretics and should be avoided or used in moderation for the sake of proper hydration. If you want a little caffeine pick-me-up in the middle of the day, instead of coffee, try some iced tea. It'll provide you some caffeine, but it also contains a high concentration of water. Alcohol should also be used in moderation. Alcohol causes cells to constrict, squeezing the moisture out of them and sending it directly to the kidneys for elimination. If you feel like a drink on a summer afternoon, beer scored much higher on the hydration scale than other forms of alcohol such as wine or hard liquor. Researchers theorize that it's due to higher caloric content causing it to move slower through the body, allowing more liquid to be absorbed. It's not only what you're drinking, but what you're eating that can affect proper hydration. Diets that are high in protein require increased liquid intake. Protein creates excess nitrogen when ingested, which requires more fluid to flush out. Opting for lighter meals with more veggies will help you stay properly hydrated. We hope you have a great summer, and remember to drink plenty of water to keep your heart and lungs happy. Please join the conversation in our private Facebook group, where you'll find encouragement, comfort, and advice from the only people that can fully understand exactly what you're going through, respiratory patients just like yourself. Thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for the next edition of O2 Classroom, brought to you by First Class Medical.